Can I at least give you a Quran? Right now I'm smoking, drinking. Okay. Drug selling. I'm moving, grooving right now, man. I'm trying to make some moves. But I'm good right now. I don't want to change. I don't want to change nothing. I said no. That's me, SQ, giving Dawa in the most dangerous hood in New York City, Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville is on track to have more than double the amount of shootings. Three children were shot over two days in Brownsville. Deadly shooting in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Police are searching for whoever shot and killed a teenager in Brownsville yesterday. With murders being up 70%, I had a crazy idea. What if I set up a hidden camera and gave da'wah in the most dangerous hood in New York City and have people listen to the Quran for the first time? Yeah, just out of curiosity, uh, why would you do such a thing. Huh. I'm glad you asked. Allah tells us that the Quran is a healing for the hearts. So what if the people of Brownsville listen to the recitation of the Quran and Allah softens their hearts, leading them to change their lives forever. And by hiding our cameras, we would capture their authentic reaction. <sighs> You're gonna get stabbed. But first, I had to covertly work my way inside the trenches, earning their trust so we could better understand the needs of this community. So this is going up, brother. How you doing? How you doing, brother? You okay? Uh, listen, guys, in my bag, just so y'all know, I have a uh, Quran. Do y'all know what this is? You, you know about this? Huh? Can I at least give you a Quran? Can I at least give you a Quran? Yes? Do you, do you know what this is? Yeah? So you know you know about the Quran already? No. You don't? So this is, the Quran is the last and final scripture sent to mankind. So you know how I like to have the Bible? You get what I'm saying? It has the Old Testament, it has the New Testament. You understand? The Quran is the final testament sent to mankind. You understand? So you know like Jesus and everything like that? Muslims, we believe in Jesus as well too. But we believe he's a messenger of God. We believe that God sent Jesus to teach people, you, me, all of mankind, how God wants to be worshipped. So God sent Jesus and he gave them the message to make sure that they're able to listen to it. And unfortunately, the message got changed around, stuff like that. So God sent the final revelation, which is the Holy Quran. Yeah, you yeah, ever heard of this? Yeah, know anything about it? What, what, what do you know? Yeah, something to do with Muslims. Yeah, well, do you know have any Muslim friends? I'm not with all the questions right Oh, you're not with the questions right now. It's okay. Well, can I give this to you to read, just in case if you would like to? All right, my brother. My brother, could I leave a Quran with you as well, too, so you can listen, so you can read it if you're interested in it? Sure. Yeah? Is that okay? I can give this to you. Yeah, yeah I'll leave it over here. Yes, I just don't forget it. No. Okay? Can I give you at least a Quran? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Do you know, what do you know about the Quran? I'm just reading it. I'm Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Do you have a religion right now? Like are you Christian or like what would you say? You're Christian. Is that what you was raised upon? Yes. What's your faith? Like you believe in Jesus and stuff like that? Yes. Yeah, because we do as well too. As Muslims as well too. What's your name by the way? Kev, SQ, nice to meet you, my brother, okay? Yes, Listen, I appreciate you giving me some time yes. to talk to you about it, you know? Because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about God and stuff like that because you know God is they, they don't want you to be thinking about God. You understand? They want you to be godless. They don't want you to do that. So over here, this is what we're here to do. We're here to promote the message of Islam and let people know what it's all about. Yeah? Kev, I appreciate you, my brother, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. I gave you one, yes? I gave him one as well, too, a Quran. Yes? My brother, can I ask you a question? How are you doing? Okay. SQ, nice to meet you. Um, have you ever heard of this? Yeah. What, what do you know about the Quran, my brother? Okay. Okay. And I ain't got no problem with it, but I ain't right. ready right now. Okay, what, what is it that you follow right now, your own faith? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Do you know that Muslims believe in Jesus as well? Yeah. Yes. And we believe he's a mighty messenger of God. He comes from the Virgin Mary. Right? You know Mary, yes? Yes. Um, he comes from the Virgin Mary. And basically, we believe that he will be returning back as well too to fight right. the Antichrist, right? right? But we believe he's a messenger of God. We do, need, we do not believe that Jesus was God because we believe that God does not come in human form. You understand? Because if God is a human being, then if you think about it, my brother, a human being is born, right? A human being needs to eat food. A human being needs to have sex. A human being needs to sleep. They get tired. God is almighty. God, by definition, my brother, can't need food, can't need to eat, can't get sleepy, can't, you understand what I'm saying? So we believe, 
Yeah. So Jesus did those things because he was a man. Yes. You understand? So we we acknowledge that he's a man. But I'm gonna get there. Give me a second. I'm gonna Inshallah. get there. Inshallah. What's your name? Taekwon. Taekwon. Adams. All right. Say that, my brother. Oh my say that. I'm gonna get there. I ain't ready yet to put my oil in. No, no. I, but why why do you think that is? Because I'm in the streets, man. Okay. I'm just trying to run it up real quick. Okay, I hear you, my brother. But let me I'm, ask you. I'm ready, and I'll be able to sit down and study the Quran. You know what I'm it, saying? Look, 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 look. Inshallah. Can you use that word for me? Inshallah. Insha that means God willing. Always. Because my, what did you say your name again, my brother? Taekwon. Taekwon, nice to meet you. SQ. All right? SQ. All right. Take, brother Taekwon, think about it. If you said that you were in these streets, right? God forbid anything could happen. True? It's a dangerous world. Look, Always. you even talking to me is a liability almost because yeah. your eyes ain't. I'm, you see, I turned around. No, no, no. I understand. And that's the right thing to do, my brother. I'm the wrong person to be standing right here when I'm talking. And is it? I'm just trying to spin through and just say what up to everybody. I hear you, my brother. Get in and out. But if you're in these streets, you don't know when you're in and you don't know when you're going to be out. Yep. And you never want to leave that to repent and turn back to God. You see, Allah says in the Quran, Allah is God's name. Do you understand? Take one. Allah says, this is his promise. That's why I need to, I need to read it. Yes. Just, just give me my time, no man. I'm going to come around. Can I, I got, get the book? I got you with the Quran, my brother. I'll take this, man. No problem. I'll read it on my way back to where I'm at. Inshallah. Inshallah. You see, my brother, you're, you will not be able to read this unless Allah opens the door for you. Do you understand? No matter how much you want to, he, he has to open. Yes. He already opened. He already opened the door so, for you. I'm just for I'm, a step. I'm being I'm I'm scared to take Listen, that step. You know who's making you scared, my brother? It's the shaitan, the devil. Yeah. The devil does he wants you to die in disbelief. The devil wants you to die in a condition in which you don't repent. God Almighty teaches us that when a person accepts Islam, God takes all of his sins. Yes. Still smoking. It's okay, my brother. Can't. But listen, Not these, none of this. this goes away. It takes this time. Is, this is perfect right here. Because I'm able to read it now. Okay. And I'm able to understand the words. Inshallah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Listen, take one. Think about it, right? Look, you see, I got them chills on me. You man. see? It's because because what we're talking about is real, and you're a yeah. real brother, you yeah. feel me? And you know I'm real too. I have yeah. nothing but love for you guys, yeah. you understand? Yeah. I'm a school teacher by profession. You understand yeah. what I'm oh, saying? Man. You feel me? I'm here for the students. I teach in the Bronx, my brother. Yeah. You understand? Okay. I teach in the it's Bronx. Heavy. It's extra heavy out there. Absolutely. You, you feel me, brother? It's the world. We need guidance. Do you understand? Yeah, we the do. reason we're running and doing stuff like that is because we don't have the guidance. You understand? So God says this in the Quran. He How teaches old do you us. Think I am? Honestly, bro, you look mad young, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like 24, 24. What you say it? Give me about 10 more years. Say that, 34. Yes, sir. When do you turn 35? What's your birthday? 30, I turn 34 in October. Wow, early, coming up, inshallah. Because if you're running this life, my brother, we don't know. We don't know. And we pray that you do. Exactly. We pray that you have a beautiful and blessed life, my brother, Taekwon. But hear me out, Taekwon. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was the last and final messenger, just like Jesus, just like Moses, just like Abraham, they were all messengers of God. All of them, they were servants of God. They submitted their will to God. Okay, my brother, take on, think about this. The Prophet Muhammad said that the one who accepts Islam, Allah, God Almighty, takes all of their sins, all of their sins, and He forgives you. And He forgives them. And then He takes those sins and He converts them into good deeds for you. You feel me? Yeah. You understand, I my brother? I know. I so, so all of these sins that you're talking God. about that you have, the more sins, the better, because he's not only forgiving you, but he's going to convert That's them into good deeds. When, when I pull up, I need to, I need to be ready. Myself. I understand that. I understand. Myself. I'm moving, grooving right now, man. I'm trying to make some moves and. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I stopped. I listened no, to no, you. No, 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 no. That was I kind of it. it. You know what I'm Is saying? everything okay with you? Are you yeah, fine? Hell yeah. Uh -huh. I just moved. Uh -huh. You feel me? So uh -huh. I'm just coming back. I had to pick up some bread, get my hair done, pick up some money. It's you know looking good. Mashallah. Appreciate Mashallah. it. Mashallah. Mashallah. Yes. Mashallah. You see, my brother, everything that we do in life, we have to praise God Almighty. Always. Subhanallah, it was clear that the hearts of the people were good, but the traumas of their past and their conditioning just has them trapped in a vicious cycle of crime and violence. Did anyone ever give you a Quran before? Yeah, I've studied. Yeah? Have you studied it, you said? No. You have? No. Really? What about you, my brother? I'm God, man. I'm God. I don't, I don't really get into that stuff. No? No? So have you ever read this before or know anything about it? I don't even read it right now. Really? Really? Okay. That's what's going on for that. Really? 
Well, well, look, may the Almighty make things easy for you, you know? Because you got, like you said, you got a lot going on. And I just pray that God Almighty helps you with whatever difficulties you're going through. And I pray that He makes things easy for you, my brother. Because look, if God is not on your side and He doesn't help you, who will? Right? If God wants to make something easy for you, there's no harm that could come your way. You understand? And if God wants to make something difficult upon you, there's no one who can make anything easy for you. God got me though. Yes. I only, I only like to hear that because I know my God, God has. So let me ask you this, my brother. If God has you, don't you believe that He sent me to you? I believe that too, but okay. I'm, I'm telling Him right now, right now I'm smoking, drinking, okay. drug selling. Okay. I don't want to hear Ken, that anymore. Could, my mind right, God. I hear you. That's I hear you. So let me ask you this, my brother. Don't you think God could change that? Yeah, He could change it when He want to change it. Exactly. But I'm good right now. I don't want him to change. I don't want him to change nothing he got going for me right okay. now. Okay, okay. Leave everything be. Leave it to God. Leave it to God. Do you have any intentions to leave this one day? Yeah, one day, but just not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Okay. Well, look, my brother, I pray that whatever you're dealing with, right, mm -hmm. God makes it easy for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, every every sinner has a past. That's a fact. You know? And God could forgive us for any of these things. What are these things to God? He can make us, make it hated to us. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He could change our entire situation, brother, right? Listen, I'm sorry for disturbing you. I appreciate your time, though. My sure, sister, take care. God bless you. You have a Quran already? Yeah, I'm studying um, yes. a number of things. I'm on the right track. I'm I hope you are, my sister. I'm God bless you. Good. Okay, no problem. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Take care. Okay. Has anyone ever given you a Quran, my brother? You have it? What, what, what is it that you believe in, my brother? Really? Okay, but we believe that as well, too, my brother. But I, 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 just so you, what's your name, by the way, my brother? SQ. No problem, my brother. Well, look, can I just pray for you? Is that okay? I, 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 Is that I, I, don't, I don't let everybody pray for me. Okay. Okay. But what if I were to tell you? Everybody don't believe in the same thing. Okay, that's fair. You believe in whatever you believe in, but everybody don't believe the same. But what if me and you do believe in the same thing? I don't have a, I don't have time for that. My brother, has anyone ever given you a Quran before? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. No, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. My sister, did anyone, I could give you a Quran as well too? Would you no, like one? No. No? No? You sure? No. It's okay. I said no. After they rejected the Quran, I became sad. But I thought about my mission to build the largest da'wah center and masjid in America. This center will be located on nearly five acres of land containing an accredited K-12 through Islamic school, masjid, Dawa Center and a hub for Muslims across America. Receiving Dawa training from top Da'is so that Muslims are confident in their deen and Islam can spread in the West. But we need your help. We're so close to reaching our goal to purchase this land in cash so that we avoid taking out a riba based loan. So your help right now is critical. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the one who builds a masjid, even if the size of a bird's nest, Allah will build them a house in Jannah. Well, this is a pretty big bird's nest that we are trying to build. The Najm Community Center is Shaitan's biggest nightmare as it will inshallah change the course of Islamic history here in America. So click the link below or in the pinned comment and donate whatever you can and let's spread this deen together. Sister, I'm sorry, how are you? I have a gift for you. It's a Quran. Do you know anything about this? No, I, no, I don't. I don't. So it's a gift. And I ain't coming back that week. I would. Do you know anything about the Quran? No, I know my friend read the whole Quran, he okay. read the whole Bible. Okay. And he said nothing in the Bible is contradictive as the Quran. Okay, okay. And he said, like the eclipse, he said in the Quran, it said the moon and the sun would never pass each other. Okay. Or something it, like it, that. It doesn't say anything like that, but I'm listening. What am I, maybe I, What's maybe your name, I'm by the way, sister? Wrong. Lisa. Lisa, nice to meet you. I'm asking, oh, I don't, I don't touch women. Oh. No, no, I, reason is no, out of respect. It's, fine. it's out of respect. No, it's in, fine. in Islam, as a Muslim man, I don't touch oh. women who I'm either not married to, unless, you know, you're trying to get married. That's a different story. You understand what I'm saying? But <laughs> unless you're. <laughs> I get it. Okay, good, good, but good. I believe in Jesus Christ. No, I, I believe in Jesus Christ as well. I do as well too. I believe Jesus is a messenger of God. I believe he was sent by God. Do you believe that? Jesus is a manifestation of God himself. Okay, so you believe that God came in human form on earth? Technically for 
he was there once he said light. Like, it's like this. There's darkness and there's light. Okay. So if he was woke up and, and then he said, it, it, in the beginning, there was darkness. Okay. Darkness consumes of evilness, so we say. Okay. So I believe that the devil is all the evil. Sure, Jesus sure. Jesus is all the good. Got you. And that's what he gave to us because he knew what he put out there. Mm-hmm. He put bad and good out there. Sure. So he wanted to humble himself. And okay. See, manifest himself to see what he honestly went through, because that was that was his way of. That's like having a kid. Okay. And then you you, you feel like you you doing things in that kid life, and that's not portraying them to be the best that they can be. Okay. So when it, it, it's not them being the best that they can be. We take ownership to that. So we want to say, you know what? I did this wrong. I did this wrong. Okay. Let me try to do this right. Okay. Let me put myself in those... That you, say, you say your name is Lisa. Shoes. Yes. Yes. Okay, Sister Lisa. My name is SQ, by the way. Okay? Nice to meet you. Okay, so Sister Lisa, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You believe God Almighty is all forgiving. Do you believe that? He is. He is. He'll forgive you. Yes? Right. So let me ask you this, right? If any one of us, me, you, anyone, right, me, wanted me, God's for you, 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 her right. too, all of us, all yeah? Of us, all if of we us. all, if we ask for God's forgiveness right now, sincerely, it has to be sincere, do you believe God would forgive us? Yes. Yes, I believe that. You, I'm sure anyone. Yes, if, if he know that your heart sincere. Is, yes. If he knows your heart. Is honest. If your heart is not sincere. Exactly. Exactly. I'm with you. I'm with you, Lisa. Okay. Now, if you were to die in this condition of asking God for forgiveness, and next thing you know, God takes your soul, would you go to heaven? What does your heart tell you? I'm not sure because God said you can ask for whatever you want, and I provided for you. That sure. If we don't want to go to hell, we won't. Okay. There's another. But do you way. believe there's a heaven and a hell? There is. Who is hell for? The wicked. The wicked. So it is God who defines what's wicked and what's righteous. Isn't that right. true? Okay. And we have to define actually what's hell and what's heaven. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. But God Almighty, if He made heaven and if He made hell, He would tell you what it takes to get into heaven and He would take, tell you what it takes to get to hell. Does that make sense? Right. It makes yes. sense. Yes. So if God is to tell you that, that means it is up to God to decide what's, he what's heavenly and what's hellish. You understand? Right. Okay. So you're with me on that. Right. Okay. Good. So if you and I right now turn in repentance to God, full sincerity, full heart, we're not faking it, for real, for real, okay. And if we ask for God's forgiveness, we believe as Muslims that God would forgive you. I'm sure you believe that as well. Right, right, okay, right, good. Right. And if we were to die in this condition, we believe we would go to heaven. Because we ask for God's forgiveness, we repented back to God, and it makes sense. So we would go back to, we would go to heaven and He would accept us. We believe Jesus, who, who came from the virgin birth of Mary, we believe in that. Because this, he had to, because he's pure. Yes. God there's, is pure. There's, there's actually a chapter. He could not come in mm -hmm. no other way. No, he has to be pure. Okay? Now, right. we do not believe that God is a man. And let me tell you why. He's let me not explain. A man. Okay, exactly. It's a concept. Okay, so God, God coming the, in human form. God can, See, my man, now you're good. You're good. Hey, listen, you're good, brother. You're good. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. So many people. But you got to understand the concept. Yes. And the reason why. Yes. You can't be like, oh, did Jesus go to school? No, no, no. Understand. No one's the saying that, yes. The way we read a book, the way we read a book, and when we get the answers, how to test. Yes, to yes, it is. That book yes, it is. Yes, it is. To get those answers. So that book has to be summarized. You got to know the purpose. Okay. I agree with you. Listen, Lisa, I agree with everything that you're saying right now, okay? What, I, what we're trying to explain is this, right? We as Muslims, we believe in Jesus Christ. Right, 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 right. Jesus in the Bible said that you will know them from their fruits. The fruits of the Muslim are in alignment with what Christianity preaches. You understand? It's in alignment. Right, right, right. And Jesus, peace and blessed be upon him, says in the Bible, they are not from me, the ones who do not profess that I am the Christ. Muslims, it is an article of our faith to believe in Jesus as the Messiah. We did not do what the Jews did who acknowledged him. Names. Yes, we believe in Jesus Christ. But he has many names. we believe Jesus was sent by God. We do not believe he was God. That's what that's he, how we are. He, he, he sent. He was sent by God. God. Yes. We all are part of yes. God. Yes. But he was a messenger of God to teach to teach mankind how and, God wants to be worshipped. Right, and how to walk as yes. man. Yes. Kind, yes. loving. Yes. That he healed people. He don't si Sister when Lisa, somebody strike him. He don't yes. strike them. Yes. And, yes. And that was the humbleness of God himself. Yes. He had to manifest that because mm. he was angry. 
Look, my sister Lisa, God sent messengers, Moses, Abraham, all of the messengers right, of God, right, right. right? Their job was to teach people how God wants to be worshipped. Because Lisa, look at this, right? Let's suppose I wanted to worship God, he wanted to worship God, you wanted to worship God, they wanted to worship God. And we all worship God in a way that we only wanted to. Do you understand? Right. But the question we need to ask ourselves is, how did God want us to worship Him? Right. So, He sent messengers. He sent Jesus. He sent Moses. He sent Abraham. Do you understand? Their job was to show us, yes, to show us how God wants to be worshipped. Unfortunately, with time, the message of the Bible got changed. It got corrupted. There's different versions of the Bible. So, God sent the final messenger and the right. final revelation to mankind to guide them back to the straight path. This is the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You understand? Right. He is a messenger just like Jesus, just like Moses. This is the same message that Jesus brought. Because think about it, my sister. Jesus wasn't a Christian. The word Christianity came after his life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Moses they wasn't don't follow God. exactly my sister. They bash. It's almost like people look at them, and that's when they become to bash God. Yes, my sister. Because they're not living as godly as yes. they should. Yes. My sister, we're it's on the same path. We're on the same wavelength right now, my sister. Yeah. Look, 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 look. My sister, we're look. We're supposed to be. Yes, we are. Because you see, my sister, we believe that God Almighty unites those who are on that same path. Those who are truth seekers who are trying to find the truth, God unites all of us together. Do you understand? Yeah, Only we're those. Body. We're, we're about Alhamdulillah. That's praise to God because wow. it's He opens our hearts. It's not you. It's not me. It's God. Okay, my sister right. Lisa. So the religion of all the prophets, they called everyone to submit their will to God. That's the religion. Submit your will to God. If right. you want happiness in your life, you have to submit your will to God, not to your desires, right. not to what Lisa wants to do, but what does God want Lisa to do? Correct. That's what God wants us to do, okay? And that religion, there's a name for it. It's not called Christianity. It's not called Judaism. It's called Islam. Islam means to submit your will to God, Sister Lisa. Brother, how are you, my brother? My name is SQ. Uh, I just want to know, do you know anything about the Qur'an? Really? A at all? Has anyone ever given you this as a gift? Really? Could I give you this as just a gift? It's free. Um, I'm not taking anything with it. What's your name? Ernest? SQ. Nice to meet you, my brother. I love the eyes, mashallah. Very nice eyes. My brother, let me ask you this. What's your current faith? Do you, are you Christian? What would you... You believe in God Almighty, right? Do you believe there's only one God, my brother? Yes, right? You believe in, do you what, uh, do you believe in Jesus? We believe in Jesus as well too. Now let me ask you this brother Ernest, do you believe that Jesus was sent by God or do you believe he was God? Which one? You believe he is God. So do you believe Jesus was a human being? Okay. Do you believe God can be a human being? Okay. Do you believe God is almighty? Okay. Can a human being be almighty? Give me weak, we almighty. Okay. That's what, what's up, brother? So, do you believe a human being can be almighty? That's the thing. Define almighty for me. What, what, in your opinion, what does almighty mean? Okay. But when I'm thinking almighty, when I say God, I'm thinking all knowing, all hearing, all seeing, right? Omnipresent. He's with you, he's with me, he's with them, he's with every. Ah, right? But if you come in human form, you give up that right to be that because only God in His form can be all those things. Does that make sense? So we as Muslims, we believe that God Almighty doesn't come in human form. We believe in Jesus. But we believe He was sent by God. Do you understand? Jesus was sent by God to teach you, teach me, how God wants to be worshipped. Because Ernest, let's suppose you try to worship God and I try to worship God. Do you understand? We have two different ways. Then he, 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 her, they all try to worship God. Now you have everyone, the billions of people on this earth worshiping God in billions of different ways. The question we need to ask ourselves, Ernest, is how does God want us to worship Him? Does that make sense? So He sends messengers, Ernest. He sends messengers to teach us and show us how God wants to be worshipped. Does that make sense? So Jesus was a messenger of God. He came to show the lost sheep of Israel how God, the Father, as He describes Him to be, right, wants to be worshipped. So that's what we believe in. We believe Jesus came from the Virgin Mary. You know the Virgin Mary, right? Miraculous birth, gave life to the, the uh, heal the blind, the sick, the leper, all that. You understand what I'm saying? We believe in all that, my brother. But He did it with God's permission. You understand? He did it with God's permission. 
So we don't believe that God Almighty comes in human form. We believe He sends prophets and messengers. Jesus was one of the messengers of God. And He sent the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, to show us how God wants to be worshipped. Because unfortunately, you might know this, Ernest, that the Bible has been changed. Unfortunately. I, I don't mean disrespect by it, but everyone knows that. You understand? So God sent the final scripture, the Quran, never been changed or altered, my brother. It's preserved in the original language of Arabic. Preserved. No other book could say that. The Bible is it. You understand what I'm saying? So God sent the final revelation, which is the Holy Quran. You understand what I'm saying, Brother Ernest, right? So this is a verbatim word of God. Now that we had a better understanding of the needs of this community, it was time for us to play the Quran for the people of Brownsville. Will their hearts soften as they listen to the Quran for the first time? Or will they reject this divine revelation? Let's find out. Is it okay if I played a Quran verse for you? It takes 30 seconds. Why don't you put these on? I want your on and tell me your honest opinion what it did to you. On over here, I have something that's in Arabic. It's not in English, it's in Arabic. It's 50 seconds long. I want you to listen to it. I want you to tell me one thing. What did it do for you? What do I feel? What do you feel? Yes. Okay, Bismillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'bud Wa Iyaka Nasta'een اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. That's it, my sister. That was it. You, I saw you got lost in that. I see you get lost. Well, we all gotta get connected. Yes, yeah. So first and foremost, what did you what did you think about that? What, what did you think? That I. How did that make you feel? What, what's your reaction? Right, to it's it? very spiritual. Yeah. That mm -hmm. we're devoured mm -hmm. as human nations. Mm -hmm. I felt that, and as we we just been devoured. We're all human. We're all one. Mm -hmm. And it's like we need to connect in some kind of way we have different beliefs different religions and mm -hmm. somehow they all connect yes okay now sister so how do we all become one yes because we all come from that's adam that's why we get all messed up sister lisa the color the yes. thing the this because at the end of the day when we go away we still have that skeleton yes and we still have that blood and guess what that skeleton's all the same color isn't Hello. it, right? How did you feel, my brother, when you heard that? Relaxing. Relaxing, right? My sister, have you ever heard the Quran? I'm gonna take this iPad and I would like to have this in my home. Have that, my sister. Yours? He's got oh, it, wait, wait, he's wait. got it. So my brother, how did it make, take care of my sister, God bless you. God bless you. So my brother Ernest, you said that it made you feel calm and relaxed. So what we just heard right now is the verbatim verse. Rio, what up? The first verse you heard was, I seek I refuge you in God from the accursed devil. That's the first thing you do, okay? So you purify yourself. All praise and thanks is due to Allah, God Almighty. Allah is God's name, my sister Lisa, okay? The, like God has an actual name. God isn't his name, God is a word, you understand? Allah is his actual name, okay? And that means that Allah Almighty, God Almighty, right? He sent this book to us, right? He is entirely merciful. All praise and thanks is due to Allah. He is the Lord of the world. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most mer merciful, the most beneficent. All mercy and benefit comes from God Almighty. You understand? All mercy on this earth, right? right. You know, like think about it, the mercy that people have, like hey, like a stranger, an outsider is coming here talking about the Quran, and you know you guys were respectful for me, that's a mercy, you understand? That God has put in your hearts, like don't mess with him. Like, you know, maybe even someone else, like ah, right, let me mess with him. But no, because they understand the look, okay, I might not like it that he's here, but the fact is that he's a person of God. We're not gonna, you understand what I'm saying? He's protected from something greater than us, you understand? Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmadeen, master and owner of the Day of Judgment. You believe in the Day of Judgment? There is a day of judgment. And my sister, everyone will be judged. You, me, doesn't matter what it is, whether you believe it or not. So what do you have in our heart and our minds? Yes. We have to be more um, loving, humble. We have to clear our minds with certain yes. entities. Demonic entities that come yes. in our minds that we yes. don't even think of. And my sister, do you know how they come into your mind? They whisper. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be this upon him. 
Yes, it whispers, yes. That's a part of it, my sister. That's why God That's Almighty why here, forbade like, intoxication. They would keep us underneath this yes. beverage. In yes. The, yes. It suppresses with so much. Yeah, and it suppresses not only, yes, not only does it suppress your physical, blessed. but your spirit too. Look, my sister, look, 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 look. This is why God Almighty has made intoxications illegal. Because look, let's suppose you're trying to battle this devil, right? And he's whispering to you. It's bad enough to battle him sober. Once you're intoxicated, my sister, how would you battle the devil? It's worse. You, he let your guards you down. You go get mad. You be like, this mother effort did Yeah. This. We all have talked to our self-consciousness. Yes. And people don't want to say that. Which is a good thing. Be careful who you mock or, or bash. Or, yes. Because these are people that can teach us to either not be like that. Mm -hmm. Get all. Because you could be like so sane. Yes. And then like. Yes, it can be lifted. It can be. And you don't talk about that person because you don't know what's going to happen to you. Yes. My sister, look. God Almighty says, Yes, you are. We only worship Him. We do not worship the sun. We do not worship a Holy Spirit. We do not worship a tree, the sun, the moon. The... We only worship the God Almighty. When we bow our head down, my brother, we bow it only to God Almighty. Okay? So we don't ask for help from anyone else. You see, my sister, all help and guidance comes from Allah. Okay? Oh Allah, guide me to the straight path. Guide me to the straight path. Sirat al ladina and amta alayhim, the path that leads me towards your pleasure and goodness. Ghayr al maghdubi alayhim, not the path that leads me towards destruction and that the other people of the past have been down the wrong way, right? Right. Well, a dalin, and not the ones who fall victim and astray, right? And this is a prayer that we make. What you heard came directly from the verbatim word of God, which is the Quran, my sister. There's nothing evil, there's nothing wrong like that, my sister. This is a purification for the soul. This is what God says in the Quran, okay? I'm going to give you this copy, my sister, okay? I've never even read the whole Bible. You see, look, my sister, look, 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 my sister, look. I want to read something to you, lessons? and I, uh, I want you to Good. tell me this, if this is true or not, okay? Alif Lam Mim. This is the book, which there is no doubt a guidance for those who are conscious of God. My sister, let me ask you a question. Are you someone who thinks they're conscious of God? Okay, so this is saying, this book is saying so far, that this book is for those who are conscious about God. Let's keep reading. Who believe in the unseen. Yes, we believe in the angels. We believe that there's a demonic entity. We believe in the almighty God who is also unseen to us until paradise, Jannah, when we could go actually see his face, but that's going to be in heaven, okay? Right, right. Who established prayer. Is prayer important to you? Listen to what it's saying. I'm not making this up. I'm reading it from the book, my sister, okay? And spend out of what we have provided for them. Do you believe it's important to give charity from what Allah, has, what God has given you? My sister, he says, this book in no doubt is a guidance for those who are conscious of God. Those who believe in the unseen, those who establish prayer, and those who spend out of what we give, okay? And who, has, and who believe what has been revealed to you, O Prophet Muhammad, this book, and what was revealed before you. Jesus, Moses, all the previous scripture. Do you understand? This isn't a new scripture, my sister. This is a continuation of the scripture. Do you understand? This is a continuation that has no doubt. This book has never been changed. It's never been altered. Do you understand? Never been changed or altered. Okay? And, and they are certain of the hereafter. They believe in the day of judgment like you said you believe. I yes, do. What you were going to say, my sister? I believe they're gonna alter what's real. Yes. To us. Yes. They're gonna alter what's yes. real. Yes. So we can be manipulated. I, I agree with you, my sister. So now, isn't it God's responsibility to protect it then? Think about it, right? He has to. And that's what he says in the Quran. My sister, God Almighty has stated in the Quran that it is his book and it is his responsibility to protect this Quran. My sister, this book has never been changed or altered, ever. The Bible can't make that claim. We already agreed with that. This book has never been changed or altered. This is a translation in English. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is also a messenger of God. We believe in Jesus, my sister. We believe in him. We believe in Jesus. We believe he'll be returning. We believe Jesus will come back. You, you understand? Everything. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, that's all, that's all we have. That's the message of Islam. The okay. message of Islam is to worship the one true God. The God of Jesus, the God of Moses. That is who Allah is. Do you okay. understand? And we believe in Jesus, as I mentioned to you. We believe in all the messengers of God. Do you understand? Correct. So look, I'm wishing you and your sister, your family the best. 
and may the Almighty bless you even more. Brownsville is the perfect example of what happens to a community when they are spiritually abandoned. These people have a good heart, but are stuck in their old ways. I believe we've planted the seeds of goodness in their lives, and perhaps with some love and care, this can blossom into something amazing. And if you'd like for me to revisit this community to give you guys an update on how they're doing, get this video to 20,000 likes, and we will go back to Brownsville. And until next time, I'm out.